This week, we've got another really hot week across Victoria. We'll see temperatures in the high 30s and low 40s in most parts of Victoria uh, most days. The key days in a fire sense, though, is Wednesday, where you'll see severe fire danger rating in most districts, and again on Saturday, Sunday, where the temperatures come back. But the reason it's not above severe is the fact there isn't strong winds. There are winds, but they're not over strong. So it's just going to be a really hot week, a week that'll bake the environment, and where it's been, um, some moisture has fallen over the last few weeks, that will dry off very quickly if it hasn't already. So we're back into a fire season without a doubt. And I think the other key thing this week is uh, the amount of heat. So heat fatigue will be critical, uh, not only for people, but infrastructure as well. And uh, you'd only hope that uh, our power systems stay, our transport systems stay operating. And not saying they won't, but obviously with ex extended heat, the pressure that's on, um, all of that infrastructure, and in particular people's health, is something that people need to be attuned of and stay aware. The last thing that's important is just refocus on your plan. Um, we've had a mild conditions um, through most of January, so it is time now just to refocus on what you do, what your family does, where you'll be, uh, where you'll be at that, that afternoon period. You know, uh, the finish of school is critical, of what children do after school as much as when they're at school, and uh, what you can do to support them. So it's, re it's revisit what you do, it's refocus on what is a summer, it's refocus on a fire, a danger that's starting to elevate, and uh, we won't see this go away for some time. It's in for the next couple of weeks. The closing point is Central Australia 